Hey, how's it going? And today I'm just going to show you how to make a basic user widget in Unreal Engine for Fortnite or what we call Creative 2.0. So I just already have launched Unreal Engine for Fortnite. So it comes in like this. We'll go done. We're just going to pick a basic blank island template. I'll leave it called my project A. And we'll just go ahead and start it up. One of the things that I've learned about Unreal Engine for Fortnite is that if you're familiar at all with Fortnite Creative, what you could call version one, you could create a lot of these things within Fortnite already, just using their drag and drop system that's built in. But if you come in through the editor, you basically have access to all that same functionality, but in some ways, in many ways, it's easier to access here in the editor than it is through Fortnite Creative. I just did a video about how to get into Fortnite Creative. And if you get into that world of making maps or things like that inside of Fortnite, not getting into the editor, strictly inside of Fortnite, you'll see all these same controls and adjustments here in the editor but they're actually quicker and easier to access here than if you did it in Fortnite. So what we're doing here is we're just creating a very basic a welcome message. And all we have to do, this is very similar to what we would do in Unreal Engine, is we just right click and we're gonna go user interface and we're gonna go widget blueprint and we'll just go user widget. And I'll just call this my first message like that. And then we'd simply double click into it. This should look familiar to you if you're familiar with Unreal Engine. And we're just going to dock it up here on top. And then we're going to search for our old friends. This is just a light version of the same user widget that's in Unreal Engine. We'll drag this down here. We'll click here. We'll set this out to 1920 by 1080, which is the size of most computer screens. And then we're just going to search for text. And we're going to get our UEFN text block. And just for ease, we're just gonna drag it right here in the middle. There's all different kinds of ways we can size this. We just click size to content. And I'm just gonna put a message here. I'm just gonna say dream big. And we've gotta to go to the font size here. And we just say dream big like that. And we can change the color of it here and just make it red and go okay. And so we'll go compile and save. And if we were in Unreal Engine, we'd need to go into a blueprint and create a widget and add it. Well, in here, all we have to do <laughs> is search for something called HUD. I guess we gotta come up here to all. And it's called HUD message device. And all we have to do is drag it into the scene. It's not gonna be visible. It's already by default not gonna be visible. So we don't even have to worry about not making this device visible. We won't see this. But then if we come over here, all we have to do, and this is basically going to add it. If we click this file, you notice we don't see the new widget here. Or not the file, this drop down box. You'll notice we don't see it here. But if we click this arrow, it says select asset. And so I got to go here into the content browser and select my widget right here and if I click this use selected item you'll see the widget comes in right there like that so then it's all hooked up and there's another setting on here you can say show on round start and just click that and then we can set it to appear 10 seconds after the game starts and that's all we have to do to have this message display super easy so then all we need to do is we can go file, save all. We save everything and then we'll just launch session. It'll just take a minute to load up. And then when we play the game, 10 seconds later, that message should appear. So this does take some time for all this to go. So I will come back once it's done loading up. Okay, so we're back and I'm just going to press start game. And if I did everything right in about 10 seconds, we should see a message. And notice we don't see that widget that we dragged on. And there it is. And that's all there is to it. <laughs> 
So anyway, I plan to be making more tutorials like this. And if you want to know why, I just posted a video about why I'm switching over, switching my focus for the foreseeable future into Creative 2.0. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care and I'll talk to you.